you faint with wandering in the wood. And to speak truth, I have lost our way. We'll rest us, Hermia, if you think it good. And tarry for the comfort of the day. Be it so, Lysander. Find you out of bed. For I upon this bank will rest my head. One turf shall serve as pillow for us both. One heart, one bed, two bosoms, one troll. Nay, good Lysander. My sake, my dear, lie further off yet. Do not lie so near. Oh, take the sense sweet of my innocence. Love takes its meaning in love's conference. I mean that my heart unto yours is knit. So but one heart, we can make of it. Two bosoms, interchange it with a single oath. So then, two bosoms and a single troll. Then, by your side, no bedroom me deny. For lying, so Hermia, I do not lie. Lysander riddles very prettily. Now much beshrew my manners and my pride. Hermia meant to say Lysander lie. But, gentle friend, for love and courtesy lie further off. In human modesty, such separation, as may well be said, becomes a virtuous bachelor and a maid. So, far be distinct. Demetrius do, as a monster, will I my presence thus? What wicked and assembling glass of mine made me compare with Hermia? Sweet sake. <laughs> Transparent Helena. Nature shows art that through thy bosom makes me see thy heart. <laughs> Where is Demetrius? Oh, how fit a word as I find thee to perish on my soul. Do not say so, Lysander. Say not so. What, though you love your Hermia? <laughs> Lord, what though? Yet Hermia still loves you, then be content. Content with Hermia? No. I do repent the tedious minutes with her I have spent. Not Hermia, but Helena I do love. For who would not change a raven for a dove? Uh, the will of man is by reason swayed, and reason says you are the worthier maid. <laughs> Things growing are not ripe until their season, so I, being young, will not ripe now to reason. And don't you know the point of human skill? Reason becomes the marshal to my will and leads me to your eyes. Which I overlook. Love stories, written in love's richest books. Ah! Wherefore was I to this keen mockery born? When in your hands did I deserve this scorn? It's not enough. It's not enough, young man, that I did never, no, nor never can deserve a sweet look from Demetrius's eye. But you must flout my insufficiency. Good troth, you do me wrong. Good sooth, you do, in such disdainful manner, me to woo. 
Very well. Perforce, I must confess, I thought you, Lord, of more true gentleness. Oh, that a lady of one man refused should of another therefore be abused. She seems not Hermia. Hermia sleep thou there. <laughs> and never mayst thou come Lysander near. For as a surfeit of the sweetest things, the deepest loathing to the stomach brings, or as the heresies that men do leave are hated most by those they did deceive. So now, my servant and my heresy of all be hated but the most of me. And all my powers address your love and mind <laughs> to honor Helen <laughs> and to be her knight. Help me, Lysander, help me. Do my best to pluck this crawling serpent from my breast. I <sighs> mean, the pity. What a dream was here. Lysander, look how I do quake with fear. He thought a serpent ate my heart away while you sat smiling at his cruel prey. Lysander? What? Removed? Lysander? Lord? What? Out of hearing gone? No sound? No word? Alack, where are you? Speak, and if you hear, speak of all loves. Swoon almost with fear. No? Then I well perceive you are not nigh. Either death or you all find. Immediately. 